All right, let's see here. So we've got quite a bit of petty cash. Um, gonna want some blood wipers. Still two k. Um, vampires reels can be important. So I think we're gonna get the extra rerolls and the blood visors. Wizards of the 3k. How much is an apothecary? That's 1k. So, or 100k rather. So we're gonna get an, an apothecary. So we got an extra reroll, the two babes, and then the apothecary. Uh, they had their necromat team. Level 3 ghoul for block and strip ball. Ooh, that is going to be a bitch to knock down. Everything else is the usual. Um, I've got a level 2 block vampire, and that's all she wrote. Let's go. I think I gotta turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's see. Get space powers, escape. Yeah, it's escape to skip that stuff. Uh, Tails never fails. Looks like I'm kicking off. Uh, is it G? Yeah, it's G and then N for the names. We're going to put it on what they are. Okay, so I want my... Can I outbash these guys? Not particularly. I'm gonna put my block ramp in the middle. Okay, so I've got four vampires on the pitch. I'm going to put the two vamps in the middle, then the thralls are going to defend the gaps, and we'll see what it can do about countering them. Alright, uh, we don't have any kicks, so... Uh, who had his block? His ghoul had his block. That's the good ghoul. So we're going to kick it right there. Let's go, Mr. Vampire. Perfect defense. Well, I don't want to fight the flesh golems, but my thralls sure do. So we're going to try to block them off. I can overload this left side here. A little bit. Uh, not too much, though. The problem is he can really do whatever he wants. Um, I'm going to try to break through this zombie. And then mark that ghoul with that thrall. Basically, lock him down. And I guess just try to push back once he cages. I'm giving a free block my vampire, which is dumb of me. Uh, but he does go for the he goes for the ball and he picks it up. That's unfortunate. Would have liked him to at least have to expend a reroll on that. Oh, he's caging up really well. There's the flash golem. No uh, armor break, though. 
There's the armor break. So you're definitely standing up. You're definitely standing up. Okay. I want to mark that ghoul. Don't want to give him a free block, though. Um, I could blitz into that ghoul. I think I probably will here. That's my block. Vampire. So one, two, three. I can blitz into him anyway. But obviously the flesh golems marked me. So I can bring that th thrall around. And get my two die block. Do I want to reroll bloodlust from there? No. Because then I can push and bite the thrall. That's not a deal. Uh, but I'm going to take it. I have to follow him so I can bite. And he's knocked out, which is exactly why I got the blood visors. Okay, now what do I do? Because there's no thrall there. Um... I'm going to put him here so that I can get a block in that zombie. Not going to follow him up. I still have my vampires in reserve here. There's no real reason to risk rolling bloodlust at this point. Uh, what's he going to do? Not sure. Let's see what happens. Uh, he has block. There you go. My vampire really got a zone there. Probably should have been more careful. There's a knockout on the thrall. That's uh, that's really unfortunate. And the werewolf is free. Um, I can quite easily get a vampire on him, and I can get a thrall up there too. I'm hoping he just doesn't mark. Oh, that's. Well, it's a dead player. Uh, that that uh, that dead player is indeed still dead. Yeah, but he did suffer a turnover. My thrall is going to run up that direction. This one's going to stand up and stay marking his ghoul. Okay, so... This has to happen. No, I do not want to reroll that. Because I need to knock him down. Excellent. We're going to knock him up that way. And hope I pick it up. And I do. Um... I don't want to be close to him, though. We're going to end the action. We're going to have to bite the thrall. It's going to knock him out. Okay. Well, that's bad. I've got to knock this guy down. Or at least knock him away. He's got to stand firm. Okay. I'm going to take this block with the vampire. I'm not going to follow. That's a good armor break. I'm going to run the Thrall up this way because I really want this vampire to be down here next to him. I'm not going to reroll. He's just going to have to run. There. No, there. 
in the action, bite the thrall. And I knocked him out again. That's... That's really unfortunate. Um, I have to knock this guy down, I think. That's fine. I'll take it both down. And that actually works out really well for him. This flesh golem... Is, <laughs> yeah. I mean... This is the name of my game right now. He didn't mark his werewolf very well though, so I was able to get the ball back. That's mostly a fluke. Uh, his block ghoul is nowhere near, which is good. Well, that's nice. Uh, it doesn't really bother me though, because he's basically just there as dead meat anyway. Alright. So, I'm seeing my best option to be dodge him out. Really hope I don't get a bloodlust, because right now I'm four vampires and one thrall. Uh, one thrall's on the ground. So I have to be super, super careful here. I'm gonna block him, follow him up. I have to play around this thrall here. This guy can't stay here. He's got to dodge out. And we're going to make a throw to that vampire there. That's the game plan. Which works out really well. About time I had some good luck. mostly worried about that uh, werewolf here. So I'm going to block him down, hopefully. He's got dodge. That's not so good. Alright. So I'm going to blitz this ghoul. Because number one, my thrall's here. That's fine. I do want to follow up. Then I can crowd surf the ghoul. Okay. So I've got the ball and I'm running up pitch. I've managed to avoid all of that with a pass and a run. Now I just have to rely on being lucky and not getting too many bloodlusts. That's a dodge from the ghoul, which I sort of expected. The flesh golem is blitzing. I need to knock down my vampire. So I've got two vampires over here. Not really doing much. Okay, so if I try to stand you up, there's a chance that you get uh, bloodlust. So I think I stand up this thrall, guaranteed. I think that's worth the one go for it. I can stand you up. That's not horrible. I really need this not to be a bloodlust roll. It isn't. Okay, so now I've got everyone but this zombie here marked. This werewolf can get out really, really easily. So basically all I'm debating here is do I blitz with the thrall and then move the vampire and risk getting a bloodlust? I don't think I do. 
So what I'm going to do... Where's this vampire going to go? There. So can I get the thrall here? Yep. Okay, so the thrall's going to go there. The vampire's going to go here. They use the Blitz on the Thrall, so they can't get my Vampire. He should be able to dodge out of that, because he does not have a Tackle player. <laughs> they can't knock him down, they can't cover this angle, so no matter what, I can dodge out into the end zone. That's bad luck. Gouged Eye. Miss next game. Well, I have an extremely unfortunate set of uh, knockouts over there. So this can be pretty tricky. I don't care if my thrall gets up, I'm just going to run for it. There we go. So we managed to score all that. So that's a victory in of itself. Should not have been able to do that. Okay, we got a few up. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm down one player. All right, we're gonna go for the same three on the line there. Where's my block vampire? There's my block vampire. Alright, this is going to be um, more difficult. I can't really defend my wings as well. He's going to get through those. Guaranteed. Like, he can push up the sides so easily right now. That should be his block ghoul. It is. Kick off the left side here. Blazing heat. Oh my gosh, I hate that frickin' glowing red tinge. So as expected, he's going to break through my lines, probably going to box up and work his way down the right here. Um, well that's actually very unfortunate for him. First things first, stand up my thralls. So I'm definitely not going to take a block with any of these guys. So what, where am I looking to break the box here? First of all, let's mark that up with the thrall. Um, I don't want to give him any free blocks over here, but I do want to make sure it stays safe. That's my block vampire. So I've got a couple options here. My block vampire can go right in and what's the zombie. I can come around the side, because my thrall can mark up uh, here. My vampire can blitz that ghoul off. Uh, that is the uh, block dodge ghoul, so that's... Not ideal. And it does leave the werewolf unmarked. So I do think I'm going to want to come in from this side, and then I can mark the ball carrier as well. I'm actually going to reroll the bloodlust. 
So I can't get really any support in there. We're gonna block the zombie up and follow. So now I'm crowding the Valkyrie at least. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that there. And throw my other vampire up here. And then leave the other two situated back here still. I am going to shift that one over a little more, though. We'll go ahead and end the turn there. Okay. Broke the box. Not a real box. There's his really good ghoul. Ah, that's really unfortunate. just bust us right through the middle. But I do still have these two vampires here. That one can mark. I can get the thrall up there. I can get the other thrall up there. So he's not out of it so far. Not out of it yet. It's making an annoying number of dodge rolls. Ah, but he won't be able to forever. So this world's going to need to be marked, so let's just mark it with a thrall. And we're going to throw this thrall right there. Um, we need to mark this white, so we'll go ahead and do that with him. So that's a blitz option. I think that's going to be the best one, so we're going to do that. No bloodlust, which is nice, and yeah, I got a knockdown. Come on, scatter. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I'm gonna reroll the catch. Uh, it was risky because I wasn't a tackle zone, but I think that was worth. I'm gonna run this vampire down here and mark up the werewolf again. Get a two die block on that guy. Uh, no armor break, but that's pretty. Understandable. And we're going to run this thrall down here as well. I'm not really too worried about knocking down that ghoul. Okay, so I'm expecting him to dodge this ghoul out. Yep. Ooh, that's armor break on the vampire. Eight armor, so it's not un like, unexpected, but I mean, it was a little unfortunate. Um, that's why we don't dodge the tackle zones, ladies and gentlemen. All right, stand my thrall up so he marks them. I really want to free this thrall so he can come over and help. I think that's more important than moving my ball carrier at the moment. Gonna do that. I could take a risk. Um, don't think there's any particular reason to do that. I don't want to be near him, though. I can't get a good block on him at the moment. Nor is there a really good way to do it. It's this side. That actually puts me next to another vampire. I'm gonna do that. I'm 
Not gonna follow it up. I'm not in an awful position. There's no reason to take the one type one. Oh, that's half. I probably should have gone for the injury on his uh, blocked dodge player. Oh well. All of my players wake up, which is nice. So I should have 11 now. 